sometimes it's the simple things that'll literally drive you crazy when working on these older Mercedes. I was recently changing the thermostat in my 1986 300 SDL and something happened to me that I've seen happen numerous times before, so I thought I should share this with you. This is another video alert. It's, it's something that just it comes at you and you go, what? What happened? You see this part right here? This is the drain plug for the radiator. This is a very typical, almost all ra plastic radiators on Mercedes-Benz from the early 80s right up into the mid 90s. So when you go to change uh, a part that you need to drain some coolant or we go to flush the coolant out of your radiator, you can get out of the car and remove this plug like you see here. You, you know, you use a screwdriver, loosen it up, get a pan and let the coolant drain right into the pan. And then, of course, you're sitting there, you're, you're saying, oh, I'm going to put this back in, and you go to put it back in, and all of a sudden, without any torque at all, look what happens. You bust the head right off of this plastic drain plug. And I'm sure you're thinking, well, why does that happen? Well, it could have been that somebody over-tightened it in the past, but I think this is another good example of what happens to rubber and plastic parts when they're over 18 years old. You're thinking, well, why are you choosing 18 years old? I don't know why 18. It's like if you have a car that's only 15 years old, you don't seem to have so many problems with plastic and rubber parts. Uh, once it gets to around 18 years, you have problems with you know, plastic and rubber and suspension parts and so on. And of course, 20 to 25 years old, you better be ready to uh, change some of these parts. This is an example of what happens to plastic when it's exposed to heat and moisture over a long period of time. It literally becomes brittle. And even if this has never been over torqued before, sometimes it can just snap off. Of course, you could be stranded. Sometimes uh, if it snaps off, the plug will stay in place with the O-ring as long as the o-ring is not damaged and it may not leak but i do not recommend you drive it like that because then this could back out so anytime i'm going to recommend anytime you plan to do any work on your cooling system and you don't know whether this part has been replaced just buy a new one before you begin your work and that's going to solve that problem right there